my journeys have, have taken me to all ends of, of this incredible planet and one sees what's happening all around you. I feel running is therapeutic. Running helps me introflect and running sparks incredible things in one's mind where you, you isolated in, in sort of a time zone where you can just filter through thoughts and actually create some logical and innovative thinking. It's through experience and it's through personal journeys and personal hardships that you become aware of this. And I think this plants a lot of the seeds of thinking, you know, how can I elevate people out of this? How can I be part of making that, that difference? As a young girl, I wanted to become a social worker, but I became a teacher. The passion of loving and giving back grew to me. I started uh, the preschool here in Europe because I saw the need of the children from the squatter camp. And then I said to myself, I must be one of the mothers that will take care of those children, give them love and affection. She took them into her house and she's just built it. She is just this loving, nurturing mother who's a, a mother to this community. There are so many children that are roaming around. They need security. They need love. They need to be cared for. Now I can say I've got a uh, model system. That is what I wished and wanted for more than 28 years. If I look at the innocence of a child, they're born into a situation. They have no choice. It's been seen time and time again, a child that's been given that good little kickstart in life goes on to flourish. With pebbles and a wetter clinic, it goes hand in hand. So starting the kids off from young, getting them out of that stereotype of your parents are farm worker, you're going to continue the tradition of also working on a farm. With providing those services, healthcare has got to be priority. If we look across the continent of Africa, 30,000 children die every day because of lack of access to medicine that costs the same price as a soft drink. And through this modular infrastructure, we can provide state-of-the-art primary health care. What the clinic offers the farm workers is that they can change the quality of their life and it's not only them, it spans over to the whole family. As one journeys through life and takes on huge physical journeys and journeys like we've embarked on in the communities, probably 95% of all these great ideas fail because it is so difficult to get something off the ground. This insurmountable problem of trying to find funding, that's where you need to persevere and it's so important, don't ever give up on these, these dreams.
Yeah, it's side five. Yeah, in Mel Latin. The people here, they need the, the medicine. I make sure every day when the customers are happy because I'm here because of them. I think the most important thing about these initiatives is it's not doing something for a community. We're doing something with the community. That is so important because it's engaging the community and it's what they want, what they need and what they want to do with us and for themselves. I'm happy to help the people. So it was my aim to have a business that can help, my, help the people in the community. There are many individuals out there doing incredible things, but in order to make a lasting difference, partnerships are essential. To have a corporate that has the same values as, as us as individuals, it's astounding what can be achieved. What's amazing about that, it's, it's not me standing there, what I've achieved. It's a group of people that have believed in the vision and seen the difference that's been made in the communities in which we work. That's, that's special.